Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support that you're giving me as well as yourself. You know, being patient, finding out new and beautiful things about yourself that you know you never thought you could be able to imagine, which is truly a blessing. So with that being said, much love to all namaste stay love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload our next video also if you feel like you're comfortable enough i love to hear from you drop me a line i'd love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you find the video very informative to you and it just gives you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some trying times right now and needs validation and confirmation, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you so much for the love and support that you're giving me each and every day on my videos. It's greatly appreciated. And I hope that, you know, <laughs> that you will resonate with the content of my video. So, in the, the meditation music I'm uh, listening to today is called Subliminal Sleep Programming. Unlimited wealth, health, and success. Mind expansion, eight, uh, 80 hertz. And I will post that link in the description box below. I've never used this one. Um, I forgot what they're called. Uh, I forgot what... Um, um, channel this is but it's very beautiful they have beautiful music on there but um yeah today my video is about twin flame 101 things don't always turn hey because things don't always turn out uh right but make it work for you we have to you know it's like life is life you know not every day is going to be you know the best day of sunshine, sunshine, roses, and rainbows. It's not going to do that. Sometimes the rain does come out, but you have to be able to learn to dance in the rain. You know, you shouldn't stop what you're doing because of, you know, things are, you know, shifted times. I mean, I used to have a bad habit of doing that, and there are some times I still get at it, like if I have too many things happening to me back to back to back to back to back, and I mean, it just seemed like almost every day it was something popping off in my life, and I'm just like, are you serious? I mean, dang who i mean did i pee in somebody's coffee this morning did somebody put some roots on like my mama say somebody put some roots on me or something like that no i was just like dang i'm doing all positive things but it's just like you cannot never let that thing those things stop you from doing what you need to do because it's like things are going to come up in your life it, it's just like you know if you need to take a break for a minute Get that woo moment to where, you know, hey, woo <laughs> I need to stop. I need to, you know, check all the emergency exits and take me a break. You go ahead and do that. That's fine. But like I told, I don't know why, but Universe got me talking about this because it just seems like people that I, I relate to, that I talk to, you know, are really going through some tough times right now. And especially if you're that empath or just a hey, Oka, we always do things that's so much the hard way. Why do we do this? I don't understand why we do this. We can't just let things go. We got to go investigate. We got to keep on asking questions, knowing, you know, it might depress us a little bit more and it aggravates us a little more. The more you look, you know, curiosity killed a cat. But just with us being the way we are, we do things as backwards. Instead of just walking across the bridge, we got to go find pathways, you know, secret tunnels and all that crazy stuff. We don't know how to just let stuff go and just be who we are. But see, that's what makes us special the way we are because we're those jackasses. <laughs> jackasses that do everything above and beyond, but it makes us a lot stronger when we come out because they were like, you know, I can see one of the empaths looking at us like, you could have just walked the, you know, walked across the bridge with us, but you, you know, you don't went through these tunnels and stuff like that. But throughout all those tunnels and those secret passages, you don't found this, you don't found that. You know, you don't probably found you some gold coins going along the way or you don't probably seen some, you know, crazy writings on the wall that, you know, that you were only, only you were able to decipher. You know, there are so many things we find on our journey that might be so crazy to where it works out for us and us only. <laughs> it works out for us 
Because I look at things in my life and I'm just like, bless her heart. <laughs> I mean, like, bless her heart. You didn't really have to go this route. But look at all the things, the beautiful things you got to learn about yourself, the things you didn't know about. Um, you stubbed your toe and you keep stubbing it. But you know what? You 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 hobbling like Mr. McAfee. <laughs> out of, uh, what is it? Loving, what is it? I'm about to say loving hip hop. Uh, and living color when he had that one leg that was taller than the other one. He just kept going. He didn't care. He was going to write down all them hall passes. Uh, you know, you're supposed to have a hall pass or whatever. But we do hard stuff like that for ourselves. We, we take the hard route. I don't understand why we do it that way. Why we got to be so hard on ourselves. Cause I got to constantly tell my brothers and sisters, don't be so hard on yourself, but I got to be able to take that all advice for myself too because I'd be getting mad at myself like why can't you just let this go why do you have to keep on dwelling on this you know but it's just like so many things that we dwell on you might get a different reaction from the time even though you probably have thought about this certain situation for the hundredth time hundredth time and you find out different things about this certain situation you weren't able to see before. But see, we have to learn how to make things work for us. It's just like, it's just crazy. We just have to learn how to make it work for us. Do not ever take no for an answer. You know, no is the next opportunity. Like I told you before, universe, God got a dark sense of humor. I don't even say that. You know, I'm you acting like he on CP time. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy. You know, God do things when he want them done. We be trying to get things get got right now. Like Medea say, you know, I was ready to get my stuff right now, but God want to take forever. But, you know, it's supposed to be that way because we have to learn the lessons. We have to be able to learn the education that they're giving us throughout these crazy situations that we be put in. And, you know, you're able to make it work for you. You know, because even though life hands you lemons, you got to learn how to make that lemonade. It might be a little bit tart, but you add that sugar to it. You add your own little sweetness to it just to make, you know, turn it and make it the way you want to. Shoot, you might even want to add a, a, a different juice to it. You know, something like just to make it a little sweet and tangy at the same time. Be unique about your stuff because with us being in hell, because we always got to do something different. You know, so... It, it's just like when we go through things, we have to go through things, y'all. I don't know why I got on my little silly rant, but, you know, us being hell, because I be the jokester. I got to be like that. I can't be serious all the time. I'm like, no, no, and no. I got crazy metaphors for days. But it's just like when we go through things, we have to not take it so seriously. Sometimes with us being in this human form, we tend to take things more personal like why is this person doing this to me and why they're projecting this towards me? You have to understand, people that project especially bad things to you, they're going through stuff themselves. You want them to like you, hell, they they struggle to like themselves. They they find things in the mirror like, "Ugh, I can't stand this. I got this hang, you know, this 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 extra lump on this side or you know, something's all off, jacked, jacked up or one side bigger than the other. They find something that's ugly within themselves. So you can't find people love you like that. I mean, there's people that came up to me and said they hate me and all this stuff. And I'm like, dude, you don't even know me. But that's more you speaking on yourself than you do me because, you know, you ain't going to stop my shine. You're not. You know, no negative comments going to stop me. I used to, you know, back in the day, if you've been with me for a while, I know people that have been with me throughout these whole two years and seen my ugly moments where I don't snap, crap, don't pop on different people that came at me stupid. You know, I've had death threats. I've, t I've had people tell me, why I just jump in traffic and die. And these, I mean, it's crazy because the fact is you, you call yourself in the same way saying you love my dad. You can't love my dad and don't love all aspects, act, act, you know, aspects of him. You know, that's like loving with limitation. I told people, don't take that loving with limitations. Oh, I love you only if. You either love me or you don't. You know, that's what I'm saying. Love me or you don't. But you know, you take it for what it's worth. You go through things. You learn how to adapt to your situations. You have to. Because it's just like if you let your, your situations and your obstacles run you, you will keep going through this rotating wheel over and over and over and over again. You have to be able to look at it. It's like my, my tire blew out today. And I'm just like, you know, it could have been crazy because I had my granddaughter yesterday. I had to go to the store. But my ex ended up going for me. Um, my daughter, she had to go somewhere where it took the highway to go. But next thing you know, it was a certain situation that was on crazy, crazy on the interstate that they 
you know, on the opposite side where I knew it was going to cause a lot of traffic and I knew she had to go to work. So I took the side roads. So there was every little incident that was giving me that indication like, look, it could have been worse than what it was. You could have had that grandbaby in the car. You could have had your daughter in the car with you. And it could have flipped over. It could have hurt somebody else in this car. You know, so I had to bless, you know, I had to think of it like that. Like, wow, thank God I wasn't that far from home. And there was nobody driving around me. Because when my truck, you know, I got an SUV and a big SUV at that. You know, when my truck blew out, that back tire blew out. And if you or everybody ever known, you know, for you to have a big SUV and the, and the tire blows out like that. And I mean tread was all looking at all ugly it could have been something serious you know i could have flipped my truck over because you know i had to catch my bearing on my car on my truck because it, it, it scared the mess out of me i had to really think of it like i was upset that i wanted to cry but then i looked at it you could have had a grandbaby which you would have never been able to live with yourself if something happened with your your daughter or your grandchild me i would have been okay but just having somebody else in the car with me that would have hurt me that would have really messed me up in the worst kind of way. So when I look at that situation and I, I made it work for me and I'm just like, I came back home. I said, you know what? Bump this. I'm not going to sit up here. This is going to be on day two if I didn't make any videos. You know, do what you have to do. You know, things happen. Make your videos because there's so many people that are going through the same incidents and just like wondering, is there anybody else that's going through these things with me? Yes, we do have to deal deal with the same devils. But just different situations <laughs> we all got to learn how to adapt with our surroundings and be able to deal with it like okay you want to be able to do this to me all right i'll go the different direction you there's always a way around something just like i wanted to do one of my dad's songs they were talking about plagiarism and all that stuff copyright whatever whatever and it's just the fact is i end up making a video singing singing you know one of my dad's songs and i found one of the you know the one of the videos without it without it but just you know just to sake of argument even though the song wasn't about me and him i just made sure i didn't show you know the video that was playing in the background because i was able to do it without all the lyrics to it so i said just to save face i'll just have everybody looking at me and they'll just hear the beat in the background so i you know i made that work for me because i was angry like months ago like dang i really want to get this song out you know people were requesting this song for me to do and i can't do it you know because it's like copyrighted and they mess it up or whatever but i was still being able to do it so i allow my things not to get the best of me but found a different way to go about it so never allow the dark things that's being thrown in your life to stop your flow. Don't, you know, being able to go over a speed bump without just all off, flatten all tires, no pun intended for my situation, you'll be able to do that. So maintain what you need to do. Keep on pushing. Don't give up. And knowing, you know, the strongest soldiers go through the toughest battles. So just know you're going through this because... You got this. <laughs> you already knew you had this, and you already know what, how it's going to flow. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content in this video. Much love to you. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. Drop me a line. I love the chance to hear from you. Much love. I'm not going to give a shout out right now because I know my, my um, time is already going out a little bit longer than I expected. And it takes too long to upload. So I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible and safe for everything you do. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wild. Well.